subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! It's squats, world's Squat strongest man in the style, so we're doing, going for 10 reps, quite a heavy weight. Um, that'll be interesting to see how that goes, we're all set up in there. And then after that we've got some accessories and then we're going up to the warehouse to do some, to mimic the, the push event that we've got, so the, the train push, whatever it's called. We're going to try a wee bit with the truck simulator. And if that doesn't work, we're just doing a look, looks pick up for miles. Miles and miles. So rest in peace our legs today. And a quick fact as well, this t-shirt I'm wearing today is the same t-shirt as um, the Stone Off versus Rob Kearney. So I've still got bits of tacky from when I went through the final. So Rob, this is a very sentimental t-shirt. I love you, I think if you never wear this, it smells of love. Oh, Rob Kearney. Yeah, buddy. We love Rob Kearney, dude. <laughs> Long time no see, Simon. <laughs> I've been working in the shadows. I've been uh, been home for about a week and a half. Been offshore before that, just working, you know, earning that dollar. <laughs> Are you going back to strongman? Or? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've not stopped that. It's just uh, training offshore. It's, it's uh, just your normal, average kind of training, you know. And uh, oh, I'm delighted to be back in the back in the McGordon training. It's, uh, it's I'm kind of working working from the start again, you know, the uh, strength's gone down a wee bit, but apart from that, it's, oh, it's, it's been decent, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the plan today is to do 310 for 10 reps, so uh, I need to dig deep today and get that done, so hopefully I'll, uh, Take it off and get a PV. That's the lighter weight's done, so we're going to be going on to 260, and this is where we're going to start wrapping up to get used to the wraps. So we're putting on the wraps just now in a lighter weight, so for me it just takes a little minute to get warmed up in the wraps. So I'll put them on not super, super, super tight just now, and then in the top working set, then I'll go really tight with the wraps. Again, warming up the, the legs, getting them accustomed to getting the wraps on. <laughs> How are they feeling today? Yeah, feeling okay. Uh, if we can hit that kind of 10 reps again this week, that'd be pretty decent. I'd be quite happy with that. So next week um, will be a good week. We've actually got, we've got the Mulligans coming up, Jordan and William, they're coming up um, on Saturday. Uh, and then our coach Dan, he's going to be up um, for a week, for a, every training session next week's from Monday. So that'll be really beneficial I think having done up with us. Yeah just to push us and kind of give us some pointers. Our technique still needs to be a little bit sharper on kind of axle clean and press and the barbell and stuff so kind of two and a half weeks or so left. So I think if we sweeten that up we'll be fine for worlds. It'll be nice and easy. Come on, let's go. 
Like Tom says, he's just kind of ticking those boxes now, so I think it's important for us to replicate kind of the reps that we'll have to go to. So I think, you know, whatever we do in training, I'd like to think there's a couple more. It was good, that's all it is. It's, I don't get excited about it, just kind of, it went well. Did what I have to do. I'll be going to Tom. Tom is in his 10 reps now, nice and easy. Go on the accessories and do um, the, the pushing simulator, and that's it. Simple. Push the rest. Everything coming on me in the middle. Let's go. Is that right? Yeah, you're good there. I'm coming for any f***ing one. This is Tom Stoughton reporting from the Stoughton Strength Centre. The Scots, they've always been a weakness of mine and uh, I can't get like pumped up and aggressive for them and then watching Luke do his 10 really kind of got me a wee lift and I was just attacking it every rep there as you can see the kind of grinding I was doing and really just going for the first five were probably the easiest I've done in squatting in a while so I know that when I get aggressive that I can do kind of anything I put my mind to so it's really a big confident booster there and it's double figure but I just want to go home now I think I deserve it but I've still got a lot of stuff to do What goes through your head when you're doing that kind of weights for squats? Um, see that's one thing I'm really bad at is I let a lot of distractions get to me that's why I'm working with a, a psychologist to help me with all this stuff like for the Hurtley zone and stuff is that when I'm just I really, really need, to, need to just try and you know switch off and just be angry and you know let's get that aggressive aggression out of me for you know 30 seconds to a minute that's all I'm doing it for so if I can keep like that I did on the squats and keep that going for a whole one minute then it's going to be good but yeah I'm just getting angry I just need to think of Simon and that makes me angry you know so <laughs> those can smile on his nose and his hair just makes me really so. Right guys, so that squat's done. Now we're just going to hit, I think, some leg extension and curls and stuff like that, and then we're going to go on to the dead, dreaded wheel thing. Right guys, we are back down the warehouse, so we have, we have this, I don't know what it's called, it's like a push, so you've got the, a bar against your shoulders, it's like the wheel of pain, the Arnold's uh, classic, so we've kind of, we've watched Martins, Lisa's did a, a similar kind of training thing, so we've set up, we've got Odd Hogan's um, track tool simulator, um, we've got the end of the yoke, or the crossbar of the yoke, and we're going to have the, the crossbar of the yoke against our chest, lean into it. We've got the trap pull simulator attached to the, the tow bar and the pickup. We're going to pull, see how it goes, 
um, just do a few runs back and forth and, and just try and get into that. This ev event that we're doing is going to be the, the, I don't know what turn you, table. the turntable event. So this, the event that we're going to be doing now, this mimics the turntable at World's Strongest Man. So um, basically we're going to be like that. So it's quite light just now. So it's very light. Wow, you're so strong dude. But we'll, we'll set it up. We'll go light initially, we'll go quite easy and then we'll build up the tension as it goes. We'll see how it goes, hopefully it'll be, it'll be something. That's all it is. So, stay tuned to see how we get on. It's weird when it stops. So that didn't work very well. Um, I think it's been out in the rain too much, the, the truck pull simulator, so it's, it just keeps it's like slipping and going, starting and stopping. There's no consistent pull to it. So one minute is really easy, then the next minute it stops. So what we're gonna do is we've got a, I don't know what you call it, a lifting strap, whatever you want to say. Um, and we're gonna use that and use the pickup. Um, so we've tied it to the tow bar, we'll lean into that, I'll put a couple of clicks on the handbrake um, and we'll just see how that goes. I think we've got quite a long distance to do it so we'll do a couple of runs back and forth and see how that goes. I think that's going to be a little bit better. Wait till that dries out in a week or so and try it again and we'll take it from there. have to keep going for 45 seconds to a minute it's different than like deadlifting for reps where you can like rest as soon as you rest in this it's over so it's really important to like when the lactic acid clicks in to really kind of go to that like different place and really important just to keep pushing through the pain and that's why doing it for a minute even though it's light will really get our legs conditioned to it you know get used to the pain get used to kind of pushing through those boundaries and then you know, we'll add the sled in next week as well to make it even more harder and just keep on pushing for the last three weeks so it's all good. Hopefully Tom doesn't crash the car. See, you've got the time. Close the door Tom. <laughs> I, and then just watch the steering wheel. You just straighten that up as I go. Yeah, I think that was a lot better way of doing it. Um, again, with the pickup, we can put the handbrake on a couple of clips, clips, sorry, just to make it harder. But I think Tom made a good point. You know, we're not going to be holding the the crossbar. We're not going to be holding the pole that we're pushing. So if we're just leaning into something, I think it replicates the the push um, a little bit better so it was good it's just just burns in the legs so 
I think this would be a good one just to do maybe even a couple times a week just as a wee lung buster I think um, maybe do one heavier and then one lighter, I don't know maybe I'll chat with Dan but just to get the the body conditioned for the because we've got the, the push and then the train pull as well so this kind of crosses each of them off really doesn't it right guys leg day done nice uh we squat session and some uh pick up pulling today i'm pushing so good session very good very good it was happy it was nice it was a heavy squat session but it was high rep hitting 10 reps are kind of heavy weight so then you can see with the truck or the push the truck pushes that we did really fatigued her going up the lap that yeah. and pushing past it is the main thing so if we can do that every week then job done eh? it was good hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the video too hope you like your gravy and uh, stay safe this weekend guys stay safe smile and stay spicy and don't forget to ring that little bell ding, 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 ding. Ding.